Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Gmail. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com. Fastest way to get to integrations is uh, by doing or by writing into, into the engine, search engine, Airtable.com slash integrations. That's literally the fastest way. And as you can see, there's already an option for integration with Gmail. It's powered by Zapier, so I'll show you how to make it in the Zapier as well. The second way how we can make it is automate.io. I will leave the link in the description down below the video. So how it's done <clears throat> through automate. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, well, we have to go and hover over integration in the top corner of our screen. When we're here, we want to go to the bottom left of this pop-up window, which is See All Categories. We click on See All Categories, and as you can see, we can start integrating. First integration will start with uh, Airtable. So, as you can see, it's already here. So, we press or left click on our mouse. And now we want to integrate it with something. As I said, uh, in this case, it's Gmail. We click on the Gmail, and as you can see, Airtable and Gmail integration is already made by Automate. So those are some popular, uh, popular integrations, like this. Or you can go uh, down below and create your own integration. We want to start uh, the trigger with uh, Airtable ones, so only just those two, new record or update record. Let's go with the, this one. And the action uh, should go from Gmail. So send an email, for example, and click on try it now. Once you click on try it now, uh, you will be asked to log in into the automate.io and then you can continue and finish your integration. And as I said before, the next step is zapier.com. We have to also create an account here. And once we do that, we want to go to our dashboard or the homepage, and we want to click on the top left corner and we want to make a zap. We can uh, name our zap, as you can see here, in case you want to do more integrations and you want uh, better access to all your integrations. So like Airtable to Gmail, for example, and it goes the same way uh, like it was at uh, Automate. We start with Airtable. Now we have to choose a trigger event. We went with a new record, so let's keep it that way. Continue. Uh, now we have to um, log in with an account. So let's go with Airtable account that we created a couple of moments ago. Continue. The base is user research. It's the, the one that it, they will provide for you as a start one. Uh, I'm using this one just to sh show you how the integration works. And the table will be, for example, users or whatever you pick. Press continue. And here you can test your trigger. The second action is actually the app event that will be affected by this integration. And it's go to the Gmail. As you can see, it's here or you can just uh, look for it. Now we also have to create an event, like send an email, continue. And now you just have to log in with your account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.